Hi guys, here we are in lesson 20. This is video two of module three. And let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you. You have it in your book. It is number two. We are continuing what we were working on on the last video. So here it says, Toby spends two fifths of his money on movie tickets. He spends one third of the remaining money on popcorn and he has $10 left. How much money did Toby have to begin with? Wow, this is a classic, classic fifth grade problem. Um, we have a couple of things that we wanna make sure that we notice here. One is that he spends two thirds of his money. Sorry, two fifths of his money. Got distracted by my sticker. And he spends one third of the remaining money. So let's make sure that we underline remaining money. And then he has $10 left, 10 whole dollars. And the question is, how much did he have to begin with? So we have a lot going on in this problem. First of all, let's talk about remaining. What does it mean, the remaining money? That means the money that remains, the money that is left over after he spends two-fifths of his money on the movies. Okay, so we have to make sure we understand remaining money. Now, does this seem like something that we could make one of those comparison um, tape diagrams that we've been talking about earlier in this lesson? Are we comparing anything? We don't have anything like as long as, as times as much, right? It seems like we're just taking away from one chunk and we're looking at all the different parts. Okay, so we only need one tape diagram, right? Um, let's draw a tape diagram. Make sure you're following along with all of this in your book. Let's get our rectangle here. Let's make it purple. And here's our tape diagram. Okay, now what do we know about our tape diagram? Hmm. What do you think the total, the total part is? Like, can we do one of these? Where we go like this, what would the, the whole thing be? The money he started to begin with, right? This is all of Toby's money, all right? And then we know that he spent two-fifths on movie tickets. So that would mean we need to break it into five parts, right? One, two, three, four, five. And two-fifths. That's two fifths, and that is the movies. All right, make sure you're copying this down and labeling this in your books. These are your notes. Okay, two fifths on the movies. Now, one third of the remaining money he spent on popcorn. Yeah? Now, this is a little bit tricky. And it's kind of a tape diagram trick. So look at how many pieces we have left. One, two, three, right? And this is the remaining money, right? He spent two fits on movies. He has this much left. One third of the remaining money is right here. One out of three. That's why tape diagrams can be really, really helpful when you're working on word problems. So this is the money that he spent on the popcorn, right? Popcorn is one third of the remaining money. Now the question, oh, he has $10 left. So with the $10 that he has left, that would be the rest of the remaining money, right? That would be right here. Okay, $10. Now, 
one thing we know about tape diagrams is that all of the parts are the same, right? So if these two parts are $10, then each of them is 10 divided by two, which is five, is that correct? And that means that he spent $5 on popcorn, and that means he spent five plus five, $10 on the movies. So now can we see how much money he had to begin with? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars to begin with. And please, please, please make sure you write the sentence. Let's see if I can type it out here. Oh. There we go. Um, Toby started with 25 dollars, right? Okay. That's really good. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about for this problem? Hmm. Could we write an equation that would show this problem to match this tape diagram? Is there an equation that we could use? Let's see if we could write it up here. So our last step was, was 1 half times 10, right? So let's put that 1 half of 10. And remember, in equations, you're showing all of the steps. Even though we divided that and we got 5, right? Well, we multiplied times 1 half or divided by two, and we got five, we're still gonna show each part that we did, okay? And once we got that five, then we multiplied that times five, right? That's what we did, we said five, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, and that is equal to 25. So make sure that you have the equation written down the tape diagram, and the sentence. When you first did this problem, was it, did it seem like overwhelming, challenging, a lot for you? Possibly. I mean, there was a lot of information going on for sure. Um, I didn't like this two-fifths and then one-third, but the tape diagram was really helpful with that. So that's why we want to break it down, look at exactly what we're doing, and then go through it with a tape diagram. That can really help. Okay? All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.